have a bath without you watching for once. Welcome to number 39 of the Marty and Michael fucking podcast. This is the second last episode. Next week it will be a live episode. In five days. But won't we're be live. live. But we are going to go live. Yeah, so you're hearing this. And we're live. <laughs> and the season's already done while you're listening to this. Isn't that weird? This was future. Yeah, holy shit. So, so right now, yeah, it's the last week before the live and man, is it fucking busy. Holy shit. We got the live to prepare for. The merch is also live right now. Yeah. Our merch website is live, so check the description. All right? And let us know too. It's our first time doing it properly. Let us know in the comments what you think about the sizes, what you think about the designs, because we've just kind of guessed it. And then we're going to go from how this first one goes. All right? And there's a more of a long-term thing. All right? We know it's not very like Marty and Michael-y. But we've done that because we kind of want to establish like a clothing brand that's not really related to us for when we're old and don't hit each other with sticks and forks anymore. And it's shit that I actually want to wear. Yeah, and it's really good quality shit. Now, the price is, uh, look, it's it's like 60 bucks for a shirt, 50 bucks for a hat. So we know that's not cheap. But they've high good quality shit shit you can wear out and about and shit that will last you for a very long fucking time but please we're open to all feedback let us know if you think we are being ridiculous and we will adjust mm. well if we can afford it that's the thing yeah it's literally this is super high quality shit you'll see just go to the website and have a look it's it's genuinely it's very good shit and that is a that is a guarantee and if you've bought some leave in the comments what you think of it because we're pretty confident that the people who do buy it will really like it. And the, like I said, these are shirts that are going to last you for ages. They're not going to shrink in the wash. The fucking, the, the, the embroidered. embroidered stuff on them isn't going to wash out. It's it's just fucking good quality shit. It's stuff you don't have to wear around the house. You can go out and wear this, man. Yeah. Well, you watch. I'm going to be watch, wearing this more than I wear what I used to wear. I do wear your shirts. Yeah, so it's very kind. And there are some podcasts, you know, there's Have Number One, there's Fully Actual. So the, some podcast-related merch there as well. So just have a look. Let us know what you reckon, all right? But yeah, last week, this is the week before the live show. So on top of getting everything ready content-wise and doing our usual shit, we're having to organize a live show. And let me tell you something, guys. It's not fucking easy organizing a live show. And not only that, we're, we're pretty much we're breaking even. As if we just found out today so, that now we break even for there's a certain reason. Well, so we've we've sold out, which is great. <laughs> and but after all the costs, all the venue stuff, um, it turns out we're pretty much breaking even. So, and but we don't really give a fuck about the money. We just want to have a good time and make sure that you guys have a fucking good time. So we're pretty keen to just get Saturday underway, and we hope it all goes well. Because man, a lot of work for no financial reward, just just for fun. And, well, it's and, literally just to say thank you to the Ringworms. Yeah, it's just a bit. It's basically a party with our fans, is what it is. Mm. Matt's going to be there, and he's going to be fucking hammered drunk. I will be responsible. You will not, Matt. You if oh my god, if everyone from the live show, okay, wait, and there's going to be wait, what? Wait, 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 dude. That one was a sad, static. sad, yeah, that was, it was static. Weak static. That was in, overwork. In and out of radio yeah, that, station. That was a fucked radio. <laughs> that was low energy. That was a 90, 1920s radio. <laughs> that, was, that was a 1920s yeah. radio show coming from my bum. Okay, if everyone at the live show, Marty, and there's 300 people, if they all chipped in and gave you 100 oh. bucks each- What's that mean? That'd be 30 grand. So you get 30K, but you have to do a big line of cat. <sighs> For 30 grand, yeah, 100%. I would fucking do it. Like, I would. Yeah, but would I'd you do, do it? Too. For 30 grand? It lasts like 10 minutes. You just get fucking zorbed to some weird I'd want world a doctor for a nearby. I'd want a doctor around. Can you die from cat? Well, you probably. I assume so, yeah. It's for Man, fucking I reckon, horses. I reckon if you die from cat, that's weak. So, would you do it? Yeah, I would do it. But I'd make sure there's a doctor nearby. Matt? I want to Google how many people die from ketamine every year. It's fucking, I don't reckon anyone's ever died from it. 
It's scary. I've got the heart shit coming back. It's so weird. It's so annoying. I've been training my ass off, being super healthy. And it's like, it's like, it's like when I'm part, like, you know, drinking and smoking weed and stuff, it, it just kind of suppresses things. And then when I go sober, it's like all this anxiety just comes out of me. And man, my blood pressure is going back up. Whenever I eat, I just, it's like I get the, the, the heart, the skipped beats all the time. It's just fucking annoying. But I'm it's with a yeah. Okay. There were a reported case of 300 overdoses and 138 of them died last year. Oh, oh so you okay. only got a 50% so a chance few. of dying if you do overdose. Okay. That's pretty good. But anyway. Well, yeah, they're not. Yeah, the poor poor people who did that. They must have mistaken it for Coke. But would you like, would you do it for 30K? Brown's Think about how many people do ketamine. Only 300 OD'd. Like, it would be... I'd say hundreds of thousands. Mm. So, you know, very small chance. But that, don't go and do massive lines. I'd do a little line. Uh, it's not really worth 30K, is it? Well, Maybe I'm sorry. Have gives- a chat to Lachlan Godfrey. He did a big line in front of me and he fucking Yeah, but he was already drunk, remember? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. I will already be in a state. All right, all right. look. All right. We'll let's back move off. On. We'll let's back move off. on. But yeah, so that's happening. We're also training for this fucking boxing thing that's that's next April, and man, it's that's stressful too. When that comes, you don't realize, but it's just kind of like a nagging thing in in your subconscious that you realize you're gonna have this boxing thing, um, in in like it's a while away still. It's next April, and for those wondering for tickets and stuff, they're not available yet, and all the tables are already all sold out. Um, but it's as soon as we have the link to buy tickets to the event on the Gold Coast in April, the convention center there, you guys will know. All right. So just keep your fucking eyes and ears open for that because Michael and I might go get fucking knocked out in, fr- in front of thousands of people for your entertainment. Hey, that sounds like fun. We found out that the guy we're fighting, one of them's called Knuckles. <laughs> and it's like, why, why would your nickname be Knuckles? Yeah, I think it must have something to do with his knuckles, right? Uh, exactly. He must have huge steel knuckles. Steel. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like, and what's... Yeah, fuck. And, and, you know, but like, so, and, and you know, he's um he's done some tent fights back in the day. So, you know, he must be a bit of a fucking maniac. Because Matt, you would never do that. What? Jump in the boxing ring? No, getting the tent fights. Yeah, the tent. Oh, the tent thing's a bit, a bit wild. But then again, I saw some. Yeah, people that I thought would never get in the tent. I went to one of the tent ones once, and this girl got in. Looked like a completely normal girl and cleaned house against the boxer. <laughs> it was beautiful. Bullshit. Hey. Really? Yeah, this girl got picked out of the crowd, and she was just this normal-looking girl, and she went straight in there and flogged the shit out of the tent what, boxer. The, the guy who's actually meant to be hosting the event and fighting, like the good fighter, she came and kicked his ass. No, you don't listen. Okay. It's very sad. Michael, come on, man. So I thought we were talking about the circus. We were. Matt had, Matt had a good tents. story, and you've yeah. just derailed it. Okay, sorry. Because you derail everything. Well, look. The chick beat up the dude. That's what I'm saying. No, bullshit. It would have been a girl fighter, right? It was a girl fighting a girl. Okay. And they invite people into the Come on, from man. the crowd. They invite people into the crowd, and the girl. That's why I was like so confused. I thought it was a boy well, fighter. Keep up. Okay. Imagine if we had too to much fight ketamine. Two, imagine if we had to fight two girls. A girl podcast. I'd do it. Well, you can fight <laughs> I'd the. Do it too. You can fight the. I'd, I'd probably prefer that, to be honest. Oh, dude. Oh, would... actually, imagine losing. Then you would have. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it'd be. Yeah, it'd be. What's the be girl podcast the that won the awards? Life Uncut. You can fight the Life Uncut girls in yeah. a battle. Yeah, but let's fuck. call them out. Yeah, Life Uncut <laughs> versus <laughs> Marty it's and Brown Michael. Brown is calling that out. <laughs> I'm <laughs> calling it out for them on behalf of Marty and Michael. Right, everyone, we challenge you. Let them know, guys. Matt Brown wants to fight those girls. Go to their uh, go to their Instagram <laughs> account Instagram and, let and let them let know that Matt Brown wants to fight. We them. challenge them. Maybe not to a fight, but um. <laughs> We challenge them to something. Oh, so you know, there's that going on, and there's the five weeks of filming left before we go on break, and so yeah, and then we have a six week break. So we we're doing all this work. It's it's fucking intense. We did our like work schedule for the next six weeks today, and it's yeah, it's it's we're gonna be fucked. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough six weeks, and then we get six weeks. Yeah. So there's one day in particular that I'm not looking forward to, where we film three excruciating website videos in one day and that'll probably be the hardest day that we've had in a long time yeah blindfolded boxing is never fun yeah so you can't brace for the hits so it's just like ow 
Yeah. Ow, and it's it's the worst. It's always. a psychological pain and a physical pain. It's the worst of it is being the blindfolded worst. in general. Is is I I cannot stand it now. After Julian stunt with the with the stand up, I am fucking. It's traumatized me well, deeply. It's too long. Mm. You were in. You were blindfolded for too long. It was like an hour. Yeah, and that it was just like, like so, the unknown is just so scary. That's mm. like some kidnapped in a in a war zone type stuff. Yeah, for you guys. Yeah, because yeah, well, yeah, anyway, so disorientation. We've got a lot on the plate, but we're fucking looking forward to the live show, and we can't wait to see you dogs there. And um, you know, if thank you if you bought a ticket. Yeah, thank you for buying tickets, and um, thank you for if you've bought merch as well. We really appreciate that shit, man. Because holy shit, man, fucking shit, babies, <laughs> shit, babies, baby. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. So you miss Margot Robbie by like seconds? Yeah, it was Mon's birthday on the weekend, and we went to this bar called Mr. Percival's, and we got there at like two, and um, you know, had a fun night or whatever, and. We found out on saw on on the on social media today on the news that Margot Robbie was at Mr. Puzzles shouting everyone drinks. I don't know what time, but it was daytime. So we, we must have had just to missed have her. Been there. It was daytime. Yeah, yeah, it was daytime. So maybe it was just for people inside. No, it was we were she was, inside. She was standing at the bit where we were ordering drinks from. Oh my god! What she ordered for everyone? Obviously not. We were there. No, but she must have. That's what I'm saying. She must not have been there when we were there. She must have ordered but, and left. What she would have been there at what eleven o'clock in the morning? We were there well, like maybe two? lunchtime. Like yeah, I guess lunchtime or something. That's what I maybe mean. Maybe she's I, we a, just missed her. Maybe she's a big fan, and she was fuck. Get down to Mister Percival's. Mark, maybe Michael are there. I don't think so, Matt. Yeah, I wish. Right, just, we didn't tell anyone, Matt. Theory, but you put some stories up. Yeah, man. Sam, bro. Maybe. Holy shit, we could have saw Margot Robbie. Yeah, man, that would have been fucking. I would have fucking like, fucking hit her or something. So a guy came up to you at the bar. I don't even remember this. And he, I was standing with you, and he comes up to you and goes, "Mate, I fucking love your podcast." And I just think he lied. <laughs> hey, what and, do you think? And he lied? here's how I think he lied. Because I was standing right next to you, and he said nothing to me. Yeah, maybe he just w- was just like, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, guys, if you see Matt out and about, no, 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 that's what I'm him. saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm say saying. hi to him because he gets really, <laughs> really upset. I had to go in the bathroom. He was in there fucking sobbing for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Why didn't you say hi to me then? I was just, it just seemed odd. Yeah, at least if we're all together, go give Matt a hug first. Yeah, and kiss yeah. him. Kiss him on the neck. He loves n- small little shallow neck kisses, caresses yeah. as well. Mm. <laughs> oh man, this Saturday's gonna be fucking loose. This, oh. this Willem's gonna come out after and get pissed with us. It's gonna be a loose night, I reckon. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's always a loose night when we're with our like. Yeah, fuck. It wasn't meant to drink on the words. weekend either, but just you have one or two, and then that's it. Oh. <laughs> There's an ant on him. An ant on arm. Oh man, it was tickling you. I saw it happen. I saw it first. Tickling the air. Tickling the air. else can see that. That's what we're going to call this episode. My friend has an on arm. Oh man. So that's our fucking life. Basically, you've you've fucking broke your sober streak again. Yeah, yeah, but look, you fucking no. Addict. Look, I'm, I'm the fight got pushed back to April. This is my I put this oh, in place. Okay, when the, when the fight was in um, January, January. Right. and like you know, this time of year usually we'd be fucking written off every day. Nah, not every day, but like it it, it gets crazy, it gets silly season at the, at the gets end exciting. of the year, especially when we're on holidays. There, there are. It was like it's it's usually off limits. We just go nuts. So you, the 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 place where it's going to be the biggest difference is our break, and you will see. You wait till you see my fucking body next to you, bro. You're gonna go, like, holy shit. As and if you hole gonna, I have the here break will break you. No. Yeah, Marty's developed a hole in the weirdest spot. It's like in between his dick and his look, belly button. Look, you can can you see it? It's like a dint. Little yeah, dints just happen there. I don't know. And it's I like someone said to have a jab. I honestly think it's because I play with my fat. Like you this, grip it a lot. And I've fucking I've detached it or something. And now there's just a <laughs> hole there. <laughs> you've caused a hole yourself. You've you've yeah, Because I'm dip. not like I've I've like lost like four kilos. Do you go like that a lot? So I'm not the fattest I've ever been. And even when I was fatter than this, <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a hole. Dude, imagine, okay. The best way to determine if this is like lifelong is once you get skinny. 
then yeah. we'll be able to see. Well, if the di- imagine not. if the dint's still there when you've got no, like- No, well, sure, it can't be because there's just a strip of fat yeah, in. There gone. is just a hole in no, there. No, Michael. <laughs> oh, so I had, a, um, I had a heart no, issue on the weekend. Oh, Fuck really? Off. Yeah. I woke up and I was feeling what I thought maybe what you would feel some days. And um, yeah, it was just in my chest and I could feel it and I thought I was dying. And so we went to go and get... Um, I went to the Cherm site and got like a blood pressure done. You can get it done at one of the mm-hmm. shops there. And while, anyway, it was all fine. Nothing wrong. I think I just. What was your blood pressure? Um, I think, if anything, it was a, a, a tad lower than what normal. That's okay. fucking annoying. That I tried so hard to be healthy. And anyway, go on. And um, while I was there, it's also said, like, suggested what your weight should be to be healthy. And I thought it was a bit crazy. That um, because I sit at I probably sit at about one hundred five mm. kilos kilos for people in Australia, and um, and it's like you need to be eighty two kilos to be healthy, and I was like that cannot be right. Well, I'm eighty, I'm ninety four at the moment, but I'm taller than you. I'd be I reckon I'd be shredded if I was eighty two kilos. What does James weigh? But, yeah. uh, James is about eighty seven. Yeah, see that that's bizarre. He, I mean, he's got a lot of muscle on him, so he's probably yeah. James heavier. is 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 heavier than what he's meant to be according yeah. to the, the those statistics. Yeah, I just felt like because he's quite tall. Well, I'm I'm just a, a tad shorter than you. So yeah, it's just what's what do you weigh? I think around eighty, always around eighty. So maybe that's why Michael doesn't die because he's the healthiest. He's at a healthy weight. Mm. We're just man. I tell you what, you have like one bad meal, and it it fucking adds to you straight away. As we're just we, dipping into f- as we get older. Man, I just one night, and like even just drinking on Mon's birthday night, just like crippling anxiety, like for the next day and feeding into today. It's so like debilitating now. It's like I just want to curl up in a ball and <laughs> myself. Yeah, I, I and can then see. And the heart shit all s- Sunday, like just skipping beats, not the flutters, but just skipping beats, skipping beats, and then I fr- like start to stress out and feel my heart beating out of my chest. It's just so uncomfortable. Fucking yeah, hate that it's shit. It's not recommended, but yeah, I, I guess like, God, I'm so over it. Just want to like a normal blood pressure and heart. I'd be like, I would kill for that. I would kill you for that. <laughs> kill Matt or me? I'd kill Matt for that. Well, look, at least it's like you can, what, do what you want. And you, you, if you think you've got a heart problem, your heart's normal. I don't normal. know. I just I sort of, I woke up and I sat up really fast and, and yeah, just suddenly felt funny in my chest. And What did it feel like? I just kept doing heavy breaths because it made me do heavy breaths. But it felt like I was not pounding, but just like, I don't know, it just felt funny. I can't explain it well enough to give you an answer. But yeah. Was it beating out of your chest a bit? Uh, slightly, maybe. It's just more like uh, more like an aching feeling. I thought I had maybe indigestion in my chest. It's probably well, to do with your f-ing snoring. You f-ing snore louder than a f-ing on a highway. Well, yeah, I thought <laughs> I thought it was that too. But then um, I was asking um, my girlfriend how how badly I was, I was snoring. She goes, "Oh, it's not that bad." There is a um, lot of myocarditis going around. So why I, want, I, I don't know why there's why? a lot of that going around, but why? <laughs> anyway myocarditis eh alright let's f***ing get these sponsors out of the way and give you guys the best f***ing podcast you've ever sucked off that's a big order <laughs> trust me bro you M M A N S C A P E D. f*** you go to manscaped.com and get their male grooming products f*** you get 20% off using our discount code fully actual 20 f*** off and, and use their f***ing products they got the new ball trimmer the lawnmower 5.0 it's f***ing five f***ing different f***ing different f***ing designs going into this it's like the f***ing remember iPhone 1 and now look at iPhone much better than iPhone 1 that's the same with lawnmower it's so good it's so much better have a fucking look 20% off go and get go and get it and use it if you have a small yard, you can buy this instead of an actual lawnmower. If you got a small dick, go to Manscaped and shave your fluff and it makes it look a little bit bigger. It works. It makes your dick bigger. Link in the description. Go and suck yourself off and buy a present for your dad Nose and Nose hairs. Trim. Also for women. AG, AG1. Matt Brown? Drink. AG1. How many vitamins and minerals are there, 75? Marty? 75. 75. 
It's 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 instead of buying all these different supplements, just go to AG One. Matt, show them how it's done. Oh yeah, I've been drinking it as I've been drinking. Look, Matt's hey, got gee. some right there. All right, it's this green powder you put in a drink and you really enjoy it. Sometimes it tastes a little bit like fart. That's not Matt. No, I never thought that. You don't think fart so? in it? Oh, that's cheeky. fluffed in yours. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Notice there's a smell. <laughs> oh, if he's you, brave. If you go to AG1, yours won't have any fart in it. That's just specifically for Matt. It's got 75 vital nutrients and minerals, and it's so healthy for you. Outsource your health so you don't have to think about it so much. You just take this shit every day. We do, and you, you'll feel your energy go up. It's, it's fucking vegan and GMO free. It's this scientific formula. Years of thinking gone into making this, man. It's fucking good for you shit man Joe Rogan has it and he raves about it all the time and you know that won't endorse something that don't fucking work otherwise you get cancelled I only didn't throw the AG1 on you because I like that shirt and you don't want to waste AG1 use that- See, even AG1 tastes good with fart you use- had a second sip Use that code fully actual and you get a free travel pack with it. Link is in the description. Go there and check it out. Subscription. It rocks up at your front door. You don't have to think about it and you're healthier. You fucking pay a little bit of money and then you're healthier. Don't you want that? AG1, AG1. not AG2, not AG3, AG1. And of course, our subscription website, we post weekly videos that are just too far fucked for social media. There's like 300 on there. We recently just posted the host documentary. You know that host guy, that orange one who fucks with Michael? Well, yeah. believe it or not, there's his documentary is out on the website and the pain chair video is coming out and there's some fucked up shit. The Ma- pain chair, is that the one you spin in a circle? Uh, yeah. And Did the, you we know Goob said that was the hardest, oh, yeah. he, the hardest video he's ever had to edit? Because of Michael... Don't Look, tell them. Yeah, there's, some, there's guys, vomit yeah. involved. There's vomit involved. Vomit into someone else's mouth involved. Yep, ruined it. It's like feeding birds. Oh, yeah. man, yeah. That Jim was, Carrey. That was fucked, man. But <laughs> anyway. Very acidic. There's uh, some of our best shit on there, okay? It's where we don't have any rules. We can post whatever we want. And it's a 21-day free trial. Link in the description. See if you like the content. Leave if you don't. Stay if you do. Fuck yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. All right, let's have a fat bong break and we'll be right back with Matt vs. Michael. Here we go. Tell me the first time you got high and what happened. <laughs> um... Was at my friend Tyson's house, and we it was on the Gold Coast. Yeah, and I remember everyone everyone talking about about joints and bongs. And someone handed me a cigarette, and I I sucked on the cigarette, thinking it was weed. I was like, "Oh, is that it?" And like, "No, that's a cigarette." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh very, of course, very, man. yeah, that's very it. unsure." And um, yeah, we got stoned, and then I went out to the, we went out to the highway and just watched cars go past. Holy shit! It was that's... actually it was actually a very good night. Oh, I felt really guilty because my mum was so trusting. When was yours? Amsterdam. Yeah, true. That's right. Oh, that's a very good, cool story to start with. No, mum, the first time was actually Byron Bay for me. And I, yeah, I remember you were there. That. I greened out. Yeah. That's, Literally, I, I wanted the so many, ambulance to be called. I saw so many friends green out and shit. So I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to do weed. But then we went to SM and we had some edible. And then remember the moment it hit us? It was like a wave of heat. It was weird. Stoned. It took so long. We just kept puffing at the joints and we're like, why aren't we high? And then next minute I got up in a panic and you said, no, no. We both realized, holy shit, we're <laughs> fucked. And then, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like too hard, too fast. I, mine was nice and slow progression. It was very nice. Man, I was so... I, he was trying to flip a car with the boys. I mean, Henry nearly flipped one of those little smart cars. I couldn't believe it. I was like, we're going to get arrested and kicked out of the country. That's what dumb tourists do. They get so fucked yeah, up yeah. on the red we light fully district. fully had it up on two wheels. And then next, yeah, like literally about to push it over. And I was like, I, I can't be here. And I had to walk away. And luckily they just, <laughs> and the only reason you stopped is because you couldn't get it over that last bit. What were you if and Henry had, saying? Slap. Lift harder, lift harder. Yeah, they <laughs> were just in a mode. Oh man. We but, thought it was like to warm more or some shit covered in snow. <laughs> 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 oh. oh fuck yeah. Yeah, I get that. There you go. Weed tails. 
anyway. Tales from the weed. <laughs> Look, guys, I have some um, bad news. For you and me or who? Just for the listeners, really. And also for you. Okay. Um, there are no Tinder adventures this week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So um, I'm saving these conversations for the live show. No. Were they too good? No, like, because Saturday, Mon's birthday. Sunday, crippled with anxiety. Sunday night, I went to I literally went to bed by like 9.30. And um, so I'm just going to start the conversations and... Save continue for them for the, the live show because I need some bangers for the live show yeah, and it's exactly. like so oh, working outside of work is just like so, it gets so like it's yeah. hard to remember it took mm. me a while to realise this but Marty really likes to shut off the phone <laughs> oh dude once he gets home it's essential like, it makes me worried to call you sometimes I make sure I call you and I'm just like fuck yeah, it's I about hate work. my phone when it's when I'm at home I just oh it's yuck unless I'm in bed just watching some YouTube or something nice like that mm, <laughs> then it's golf. okay have you ever thought of changing like your phone to a work phone and then a normal phone so that way you don't and you have two different ringtones that way the anxiety ringtone will, will be switched off and the good ringtone will keep you happy knowing it's a safe but then call when you're sort of just at home you just sort of fuck the phone off and you go go do some like better shit I, I feel like I'd have anxiety if I didn't if people couldn't contact me still yeah because some very urgent matters have been have risen late at night mm. and that's exactly my phone near yeah. me yeah. Then, that's um, exactly a business owner answer well yeah, done yeah so fuck but anyway we got um the finale one I promise you there'll be some fucking good shit alright so um fuck yeah this is, this is the last week I have to do this I'm going to make sure that it's really, really, really fucked. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I listened to one. So you guys posted one on the university uh, Insta page. Yeah, we had to literally just delete that one then. Oh, really? I was really? a bit too worried. It was yeah. a bit too sick. It was so fucked. And I was like, oh, no. This is quite quite intense. Yeah, yeah it was very <laughs> sexual. <laughs> my, my high school principal messaged me about it. I was really? like, yeah, just out of the blue. And just like, hey, Matt, have you seen these Tinder adventures? And I was like... Yeah, just bullshit! Fucking, you're lying. You yeah. get to talk to oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> man, imagine talking to your principal, Mister. I oh, fucking can't remember his name. Do you reckon? Did your principal like you? No, I barely knew him. He barely spoke to me. I'm he had too many remember kids the to principal. Deal with. I remember our principal. It's sort of out of my brain. Us. Weren't you school captain? Yeah, I remember. Oh, That's yeah. why you would have had more. I do remember the primary school. Yeah, I remember my primary school, Mister Ball. I can't remember his name. That's all gone. All everything's just starting to. All my kids' years are just starting to be pushed out with new memories. And then the older I get, it's like the less I know. And yeah, they're making way for the kids' memories. All we have kids. is right now. There's nothing else. Yeah. Tomorrow could be nothing. Mm. Probably will be. All right. I love you guys. I love you. Let's move on so. to Matt vs. Michael. Hit it, man. Matt vs. Michael. It's Matt vs. Michael. It's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> All right, now this is a segment where Michael and Matt fight to the death, to the death for the bottle that sits amongst us. It is in this carton right here. It will be at the live show next week. Look, and there will be the conclusion to the Matt versus Michael segment if Matt wins today. Yeah, I can't believe it's. It's down currently nineteen eighteen. I look, feel like I'm going to fall down at the last no, Matt, moment. Well, look, <laughs> it's going to. Look, last week we kind of skewed it in your favour slightly. Yeah, it, it's been fucking bullshit. Yeah. I've already won, I reckon. It's just because he fucking concrete, concrete. And this- <laughs> Yeah. He concrete and concrete. Anyway. Although I didn't know that much more than you. Yeah, well, fucking concrete. Rome. So this week, it's essential. Like, I really want it to be tired moving into the finale. Why? Why, why do you want it to it's be? It's just for entertainment. Oh, okay. It's for entertainment fair. value. So I guess I'll probably... I just thought we'd, so, just thought we'd present so look, the winner there. This one is... It could be slightly in your favour, but then I've also... <laughs> He's put it in my favour. Changed it so that there's a chance. There's you, You're in with a chance here. <laughs> That's great <laughs> That's to hear the before fucking, the comp. That's great a chance. lie. Okay. All right. All right. Fuck. So the competition is... Who knows more celebrities named either Matt or Michael competition? Can I name Matt or Michael? Oh, yes. No. You can both name Matt's or Michael's. Whoever doesn't know first 
losers. You get an extra point if you can do the impersonation of that act of that celebrity. Then the other person has to guess two in a row. Holy shit! Wait, how are we guessing them? No, you just say them. Oh, okay. And then you can choose to do an impersonation, and if that's an good enough, point. then Michael has to pick two in a row. Makes okay. sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Scissors, paper, rock. See who starts. Scissors, paper, rock. See who starts. Scissors, scissors paper, paper, rock. rock see who starts. Fuck. Oh shit! To see who starts. Oh, it's yeah. probably good to get start. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You'd want to start. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. All right. It's had a nice one ready to go. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Doc, I can't go back in town. Town time. Okay, that was a terrible impersonation. That was a terrible right? impersonation. So, mate, oh, you only have to guess one. <laughs> <laughs> can't go back in town <laughs> wait I only have to guess one yeah one either That's Matt or good. Michael celebrity <laughs> so Matthew McConaughey that. Matthew McConaughey okay well alright 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 okay I'll I'll just give it to you oh my kind god of annoyed at you, that but I'll wins just give it to you. that was so shit two, two in a row so I've oh okay yeah okay two in a row do Look. an easy one um, Matthew Perry's dead Michael Jordan good okay. and uh, another one Matt Damon Hang on, hang on. Are you going to do a... You don't have to have a go on oh, impersonation. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll do... Like, can I do of both? If you want. All right. Um, th- three! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, like, bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. All right, that's really good. You have to guess... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's shit. You pick now, man. Um... Um, so I said Matthew Perry. I'll take that one. Matthew Perry must be living. Let's just let's let's put some constraints. <laughs> he must be living. Uh, let's put some constraints on this. Otherwise, we'll be here till fucking three thirty. Uh, Michael Fassbender. Oh, do you want to have a go at his impersonation? Well, um, I just got to check who the fuck that is. He's a um, he's an actor. He's in Twelve Years a Slave. Oh uh, yeah, I see X-Men. him. Man, I see him. I can't really think I can do an impersonation. Oh right, well, then don't worry about it. Don't worry about it then, Michael. Michael Shannon. Hang on, is it my? Do I keep? Did you just see one? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How does he keep going after each go? You gave him two goes. What? You gave him two. Oh, because he had to get two points. Is yeah. that the idea? Yeah. Okay. So do I have to get two points or just one? No, I, only if I do good impersonation. It alternates unless you do a good impersonation. Then he has oh. to guess two. The rule. Okay. All right, right. Michael saw my list and guessed one. That's kind of cheating. So Michael has to guess another one. All right, hang on. I'll give it to him if he can say what a movie that Michael Shannon is in. Fuck that. That's fair. I've got one. Michael Jackson. Okay. Okay. Hang on. No, he's not living. Oh, shit. Yeah. If you can guess a Michael Shannon movie, I will give you. Matt Johns. Matty Johns. Yeah, Matty Johns. (laughs) Well, he's an Australian one. Just. Right, it's a just celebrity. that barely scrapes in as a celebrity. That's like saying we're celebrities. Man, thank fuck. Yes, All right, go, Matt. How many do I need to get? One. We didn't oh. do an impersonation. Uh, Matt LeBlanc. Oh no. Um, and I'll do. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> oh, Matt's fuck! It's that guy. Question. It's that guy from Friends. Yeah, Joey. Yeah, the Matt. All right, oh. look, I'll give it to you, mate. You got to guess two in a row now, Michael. Oh shit. Two. Oh my god! How the fuck? Okay, I'm I'm oh, okay. I'm gonna go with um fucking Michael. Fuck Matt. Um, it, does, it does get hard, doesn't it? It's gone. There's no more celebrities with Michael or Matt. That is actually the full list. <laughs> I can't think of it. Can I just say Michael J. Fox? You've already said. <laughs> you already said him. Okay. All right. Damn it. <laughs> Well, so that's it holy fuck I can't cooking, win like I seriously thought, don't know any others what about like Matt um, what about right wait 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 let me think then am I still in this I'll, I've got it Matthew there's no others yeah, that's to it to be honest I don't know any of these Matts give um, me a give me one I'll, I'll guess a movie Matt Cohen Matt Cohen no nah, there's no such thing Matt Cohen I know I know the Cohen brothers Anyway, let's not. We're not. We're not turning into some fucking movie segment, Matt. Oh, Sorry. I've got it. Michael from Marty and Michael. Yeah, Matt, Marty just said we, are, we don't celebrity. count. That's that, yeah. that's. 
Hey, I had a shot. That was the last thing I could do. Well, well, well. That it was looks like way in my favor. It looks like Matt has tied things up at 19 or who would have thought when we started this segment on fucking week two that I would cheat at the end and make it so that it is scores a tie going into the finale. So whoever wins during the finale, and that'll be completely fair, wins the bottle of mint to do with whatever they want. Wow. Well, yeah, look, I mine. should be more mad, but I get it. And I still know that I'll win because if it's an even playing field, I will win. Listen. Yeah, it will be. It's going to be so fair. It's going to be crazy, everybody. <laughs> I, haven't even, I haven't even decided what the finale will be yet. Have you got a few ideas? No. He's lying. Hmm. 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 It could be a fight. Oh, oh I can't all my New York can't. Yeah, I'm right. I'll go for it. Oh, if it's boxing or not wrestling and shit? Yeah. I'll give him an advantage. He's been training uh, boxing. It would, and you I'll- can't. It's sort of like... it's. Tough to do that. Yeah, it's tough to punch your best friend in the face. <laughs> it's tough to do that. But I yeah, will do it. <laughs> motorbike helmets on. Oh, then you can't like. Anyway, anyway, yeah. look, we'll we'll think about it. But well done, Matt. It is nineteen all. I can't believe it. This is so exciting. Holy fucking shit, everyone! Stand up and clap and cheer around. <laughs> hoorah! <laughs> fucking hoorah! <laughs> All right, let's do a screaming segment. All right. Fucking, All right okay. Oh, yeah, let's scream at someone. Screamed at anyone for a while. For a wild. <laughs> yeah, who should we scream at today? Seconds? That was like 25 seconds, oh, man. fuck. Yeah, well, yeah, I think you were close. What were you on? He said six seconds. I said a minute. I said 25 seconds. I actually oh. said seven. Oh, holy shit. I got it bang on. Oh, guys, during the live show too, we're going to do a black book. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's exciting. <laughs> all for one. And one for all. Um, all right, let's fucking move. Movie. Let's let's fucking move on and let's fucking get a fucking P.O. box up in this house. This is our last fucking P.O. box for the whole fucking season. And if you want to send a shit to open on the fucking first episode of fucking season fucking six, send it to P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia. We open everything live on the fucking podcast. So this is the last P.O. Box segment. Let's see what you freaks have fucking sent us. Holy shit, man. What have we got here, boys? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Explain what you'd seen. I'm right opening now. up tin foil. Oh, I thought it might be a stick of something, if that makes sense. But oh, that is I very thought nice. it was as Look, well. I thought there was something bad in there, but there's stickers of Bosley, the best dog that ever lived. Oh my oh, god, that's beautiful. He's picked a really nice photo of him too. Oh, I'm scared. oh, it's so beautiful. If you want me to open it, I'll put open that on it your fucking laptop. I'm scared to open that. Yep. I'll, f- it. It, I'll do it. What do you reckon that is? Probably oh, weird. it doesn't look good. Is it hair? It's hair. Oh, is it poo? It's poo. Oh! You reckon? Okay. Well, it's... I don't know. It's not soil. It's not got soil. Give me it. Give me a look. I think that is a prank of like... Oh, I can smell it. Is that poo? Yeah, there's something wrong with that. I thought it was like nice soil. Oh! No, there's something there. I just got a whiff of it too. It's quite strong. Oh, okay. I had that pretty close to me. It is soil smelling though. Okay. So we just, I got, I thought it was a stick of weed. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like maybe anthrax. Oh Oh, my God. They're all fucking mines and traps. Except for these stickers of Bosley. Thank you very much. Whoever sent them in. That's fucking beautiful. Very nice. Here's a script from my Bible. Book of C 210. You must be B to see B and to see B is being C itself. So open your eyes and be seeing does not exist without being. Just as being does not exist without seeing, they are one and the same, but also complete opposites. To see is to truly be, just as to truly be is to truly see. See, beesist. Oh, oh, thank good. you so much. I miss uh, it's Michael's- It's like a photo frame of Bible. 
doesn't exclude blind people. Oh, there you they go. can still see too. I, I miss uh, Michael's Bible and days. Yeah, those were crazy, bro. Thank you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, to Marty, Michael, and Matt, hope this helps. Love the content you guys make. Even my, I think it says eight-year-old, watches it on Facebook. Yes, not the website stuff, though. Uh, thanks for the laughs, at Dylan. And he's put a whole bunch of hair. Oh, fuck oh, wow. yeah. Some hair to add. That yeah, is got- definitely, see the patch there? Yeah, we got that, sent some more here too. That, yeah. We got so much hair for the finale, guys. It's going to be oh, There's a bit more hair. Fucking beautiful. Thank you, legends. Yep, and this is from... We were a bit worried earlier we wouldn't get enough hair, but now we got it's heaps. It's a chick's hair as well. Jack and Annabelle. That's Holy exciting. Shit. Isn't that cool? Do you reckon she cut her blue hair out for us? Yes. Oh, Thank this- you, Jack and Annabelle. This felt Thank nice. you, guys. This one felt suspicious too. Oh no, it's more hair. Yes. All the hair's coming in rough. Yeah, a lot of life. hair. Oh, that's okay, a just big, put it over big. here. Can I you... don't want to touch it. It's all right. It's, it's in that's a, a lot bit. of hair. Man, that oh, is a something lot else? of fucking There's something else here. There's a sticker. There's a sticker. Nitro gas shock absorbers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What is it? Oh. Is that what I think it is? Oh, wow. That looks like balls to me. Yeah, that looks like Wow, well, someone just sent us balls. Man, this is a good fucking haul. Whoa. Thank you for the sticker. Thank you for the... Whoever sent us these Bosley stickers, this is the best. And thank you for this candy that is just candy. Maybe. Look how eagerly Matt opens that. Like a child on Christmas morning. Oh, I don't know about this one. He's unsure. He sticks his hand in. Ah, and pulls a little letter. Dear, dear Marty, Michael, and Matt, just wanted to say thank you for the videos and the podcast. Everything you do brings me so much joy, and I wish you all the best in the future. Inside are some random gifts for you all. Inside the Empire is a gift for each of you. The three of you deserve the world, but this is all I can offer. Please take time to enjoy all three. For Michael, I know how much you love superheroes. Hey, he wants me to pull these out in order. Matt sticks his hand in to the package. I know how much you love superheroes, Michael, so I present you with a, a Superman patch. Fly high, my Becklin. You can hey. put that on your shirt at the live. That's better than nothing. Sort of. All right, Thank Marty's. You. For Marty, I, I suffer badly from hemorrhoids and bleed frequently. Oh, Marty, I've gifted you a tissue from my most recent bowel movement. By the end, it was just blood, so I saved a piece for you. Oh, that's so nice. No way. Oh. Okay, don't open it, Matt. Just like, yeah, fuck. Oh, Hang on, man, he's so red. A lot of blood. We're seeing the, uh, That's the a tissues first, and man. there is a, a hemorrhoid red. tissue. Oh, Matt, okay. don't. Seriously. I'm, I'm leaving if you open that. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. He said if to- If you throw it on me, I'm leaving. He said to um to do it. No. Because ah! it's fake. It's fake. He said it's fake. <laughs> oh, 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 he said, this is fake blood. Take this out and throw it on Marty. As I remember, he hates blood. And zoom in on his face for a ha ha ha. My gift is actually a bit of chaos because Marty loves chaos. That's so fucking spot on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hey. mine doesn't look good at all. <laughs> oh, it's still scary. It's what if it is? Nah, look how, how pink it is. Yeah, I guess. So. Oh no. For Matt Brown, I've been collecting my toe and fingernails for months. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent them to you. Please, for the fully actual fans, can you use your brown superpowers and put them in your mouth? I just know it would bring so much joy to the ringworms. Remember, you guys are the best, best, best from Lukey D in the Central Coast. Holy shit, that's a good collection. That looks disgusting. That's fucking beautiful. Man, this is a great haul on this fucking P.O. box. I don't know if I can put that in my mouth. Just chew on them. Just chew on them a bit. They're just toenails. Just pretend it's like a... Like a... A a, a, Yeah. Oh, Hard no, candy. I can do that, everyone. Hard, right. salty candy. Oh, man. You can't say it and then not do it. I didn't say I was going to do it. Oh, but I thought- We've it- said it before that you put everything in your mouth. You nodded along. Didn't you? We could make another human with the amount of sh- human- I don't think I can do it. we've been oh, sent. dude. It'd be so special. Think about the- Think, think about, about the kids. Don't yeah. you want to see the kids smile? Oh, oh man, it would probably it would honestly fix up fucking world hunger, I reckon, because everyone would be like, "Fuck!" If you can eat toenails 
like you do, then you won't, you can fill up. And then we can just send all, all the toenails to Africa and this problem sorted. No, they can just start eating their own nails. But we, can also, we can also send ours because we just put ours in the bin and waste them. Yeah, I guess, well, that's what, if you want to sort of sponsor, then you can do it Maybe, that way. Yeah, look, if everyone starts sending their toes and fingernails to Africa. Yeah, that's, I want to get a look at them. Yeah, holy shit, that's probably the way to go. <laughs> but you've got to inspire that, Matt, by actually doing it. Just pick the cleanest one. So this one. will... No, I think pink a bunch. I'm not going to eat one. That'll be weird. <laughs> Can't single them out. Yeah, you're right. You have to do a fair oh, few. I don't know if I can do it. Dude, I think you just, just have a smell first. The countdown always yeah, helps. Count me down. Count me down. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I can't believe oh, wow. you did That's that. Real. That's, That's real. That's up, real. Cunt. That happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> So oh my god <laughs> he's choking on the females don't oh that's intense <laughs> holy shit oh, that, oh, fungi oh, fungi that oh is god. fucked up Matt that is fucked I can't believe we did that I'm so sorry everyone I don't know if that was good or bad that was it was pretty fucked up man but you did sort of help world hunger, so well done. Oh, they felt that the texture was not good. Yeah, it's um, it's fucking um. You've already oh wait it's fingernails. No, it's chucking on. Oh, you're already pulling on it. Brown saw that a sticker was already placed Bro. by Marty onto his computer, <laughs> and then realised it, just like the ant on your hand, dude. You've been he bamboozled. To- You've been bamboozled good. twice now. It was very good. <coughs> oh, oh, I still feel them. Mm. Oh, did they smell? I just thought, just stick them in, spit them out, mouthwash. But then one got stuck under your lip. This one got stuck there. Oh, no. That's yucky. It's really yucky. Sorry. But that was strong science. I only did it for Lukey D and the ringworms. And that's all of the gifts that we've been given. This is the final P.O. box for the year, guys. Good P.O. box for the ending of the year. Thank you so much. That was heck of a shit. Thank you so much, guys. If you want to send your shit in, like I said, we open everything live and Matt puts anything in his mouth. Hang on, not anything. Just calm down. Well, yeah. Just fingernails. That's where he draws the line (laughs) after that. Yeah. Sorry. Put petrified shit in his mouth once too. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaur poo. A few chilly things. Yeah, holy shit, you really do just fucking clang, clang, clang. And straight in the old gob like a I child. I should have put the tissue in my mouth and freaked you out, but... Oh, yeah, that would have been very, very... I, well, I did have a bit of, like, a bit of sense of maybe it's real. If you... Oh, Because <laughs> he true. said it's fake, and then I was like, what if I didn't read enough? And he said, nah, kidding, it's real. Yeah, true. Yeah, but he said it was fake. <sighs> he should have written that at the end. That would have been good. <laughs> or just send a comment. He shouldn't have, so he hopes that it actually happens. So. All right. Oh, that is the end of PO Box. All right, guys. <laughs> it is time right. for us really? to answer your questions. Right. Hit it, Matt. You have all the questions, and we have all the answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. <laughs> Marty. Yeah. I feel like it's not inspiring you enough. What? It gets into Michael, it gets into me, but I don't know. I just don't get the I must say it has lost its jam. Do we the need first a, four weeks had me. Do we need a new jingle for it? Next season. Uh next season, new jingle. New jingles across the town, babies. And this is a segment where we answer your questions that you comment on the Mighty and Michael fully actual YouTube channel. We answer the most like questions first. So once you comment your questions, have a scroll through and like the questions that you want us to answer. All right, first question is from Dylan Baruga. Baruga, Baruga, Baruga? It's both. Okay, depending where he's from. Um, This is top question. Uh, Are your siblings as normal people or are they freaks who make golly bottles as well? Yeah, Michael's siblings make golly bottles. The whole family does. (laughs) And they freeze them and have them at Easter. (laughs) Imagine freezing the golly bottle. And then putting an icy pole stick in it. Oh, (laughs) Icy pole gollies. Sucking on it and it would defrost in your mouth. How is that not a website video you haven't done yet? Back into golly. I thought of like something that's so fucked up, but I heard a tale of this happening. You freeze your shit, then you grate the shit in the carpet. (laughs) Great. Imagine doing that at someone's house. Like everyone's gone to bed, so you stay up 
Freeze your shit. Imagine if we did that. that time. And then we just call it having a great shit. <laughs> a great shit. <laughs> oh, we had a great shit this morning. <laughs> yeah, you're eating breakfast with the family. What's the that next smell? Day. Oh, I don't know, but I had a great shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude just oh. think about the pissing in the fridge the, days yeah that was hectic just doing shit. the great shits on people's carpet because <laughs> it wouldn't look like shit it just looked like a little fucking like shredded <laughs> Dirt. shredded like soft brown things did, yeah. where did the pissing in the fridge come from like, uh, just I know who it's from and whose fridge it was but like <laughs> who? how did that start me and Henry just fucking <laughs> Wow. We were just looking through a friend's fridge when we were like teenagers and like because we were hungry and then one of us needed to piss and then thought it was hilarious and fuck and we just both started doing it, man. Oh no. <laughs> it's so <I'm> upsetting. <gasps> oh. Yeah, it's not right. <laughs> you not sold right. me on it one night and then <laughs> holy shit, we laughed the next day. Yeah, it's the ultimate disrespect to the entire household. <laughs> <sighs> I saw you pissing. I saw you pissing an underwear drawer once too. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Dude, I used to be a very vicious, very naughty vicious boy. boy. Oh, but yeah. So that's a new thing. If you want to do something like that, but to the extreme, it would be called a great shit. You freeze <laughs> your shit and then grate it. You could grate it onto anything. What about piss discs are pretty good too. You piss in a shallow plate, freeze it, and then you got a piss disc. You slide it under doors. Did that work when you did it the first time? We haven't done it. We yet. did have them in plates, but we never like ended up using them just because, oh. like, I guess people didn't want it. Yeah, it's just like you need a freeze dedicated to it because it's not nice having piss discs <laughs> close to actual food. Yeah, it did turn me off. Like the food that I had near it, I must say, <laughs> I still ate it. Yeah, it was just reluctantly. Yeah. Next question is from Tartan Planet 3553. Um, do you guys like Chris Lilly? And if so, what's your favorite show? Yeah, we, we do like him. And Summer Heights High is hard to go past. And we in DM him on Instagram. He never replies, but he sees our messages. Yeah, he sees them. But like, I'm going to DM him right now. Let's DM him something. Like, comment hey, comment what you want <laughs> us to DM Chris Lilly. I've got Lilly. it. This. We see that you see our messages. <laughs> we we see you see. <laughs> Spell it. See just the letter and I then you. I hope the we letter. get him on. See again. No, we see S E A. We see you see. Yes, we see. <laughs> Dude. I'm sent That's it. the funniest thing we've I'm ever said. We see you see. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fucking hate us, man. It's going to come down to it. We're going to pitch a show to fucking some of these streaming oh. networks. And then Chris Lilly happened to be in the building and the producers will call him over. Oh, what do you think of these guys? We can't decide whether to give him a show or not. And he'll see it and he'll remember us from the DMs and go, these the fuck with <laughs> <laughs> holy shit dude that's exactly what i'm thinking now too i sort of regret it but it was a good laugh no nah, no nah, it's pretty funny <laughs> as we see you see <laughs> but who who opens like a message and then doesn't reply if like he had we'd be in these requests originally he's accepted the request so then it shows that he sees us but then doesn't reply You'd go to the effort of now just like making it not requests anymore, but not reply. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, and well, then, he's probably going to leave us alone. He's never going to see our messages again he's now. He's not going to talk to us ever. <laughs> You're restricted. But yeah, he's funny as fuck. Yeah, God he's... damn, his shows are good. Next question is from F this Twitter shit. Um, please tell me you guys have got sweatshirts that are comfy in your merch. Um, so at the moment, I think we've only got sort of summer stop clothes yeah, look, we have we're, jumpers or anything come along we're definitely going to branch out to more products but at the moment it's just shirts and hats for the first drop see how it goes see what the feedback's like and then we go from there so um, it's currently summer here in Australia so it's really hot <laughs> it's very hot but yeah we don't have singlets at the moment so it's just shirts and just hats we may yeah. have singlets in the future mm. yeah but it's all coming guys so um, yeah hang, hang around alright help Help us. Next question is from W Norton four nine one six. When are you guys going to have your next bat fest? I don't think we're ever going to. Yeah, 
<laughs> I forgot we fucking yeah you block that out of the memory don't you let's just not talk about it <laughs> <laughs> things have changed now that we're older oh man you can see why people had confusion in their eyes when we first said that to them <laughs> little, yeah we're just a bunch of little rascals next question from tips 72 Horny. um marty how the fuck how the fuck do your head work how does how does your head work to come out with the browns tinder adventure shit so how do you come up with all the tinder adventure conversations it's just what does it come from it just it comes from deep within me man it's 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 put in my dna and i just think to myself what would matt say here and that's where it comes from my deep connection with the brown sorry Docking. We dock. <laughs> <laughs> we dock. Oh. Cock dock. Oh. Oh. Okay, I've got a what would you Imagine rather Imagine that for a website video. Michael. Would you dock. Michael. You have to dock with your dad, Greg. Oh. But you get 300K. Now, I've got a question. <laughs> yes, he is unconscious. Okay. Um, is it harder to dock when you're, not, when you're circumcised? I would assume it would be, wouldn't it? Why? Same. Your hole doesn't change skin. size. What? So you oh, pull, what does the dick the go foreskin? in the hole? I thought it's foreskin on foreskin. Oh, yeah, you might be right. I, Maybe I don't know. only I the person with it. foreskin can go over. I've seen that both of us are gone. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Would you glue your, your dick to your dad's dick for half an hour for 300 grand? Yes. Yeah, I'd probably do that if he's dead. What if he's awake? <laughs> yes. Really? I'll just tell him. Dad. You have to stare in his eyes. I'll be and like, you can't think of blink. retirement, Dad. There's a no blinking. Think like, of retirement. He was here today. He'll see a camera in the background and like you have, still have to make him do it. <laughs> it's on there now. Just fucking get on with it. <laughs> he came here today. He's yeah, at the house. Greg, Greg, Greg Brown came and then Greg Smith came. Yeah, two Greg. Oh, I wish they were here together. Yeah, it would have been so nice to uh, just be like, Greg, this is Greg. Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I would have that. I would have fucking this loved to Greg. Well, Greg, and just say Greg and see them both look. Yeah, they both turn oh. around. Oh, man. man the, you know how you took a photo of me, like, or film me, like, looking at the pool? There was a moment where me and dad were both looking down at the pool. And I was like, this is going to be so funny if somebody started filming us both looking at the yeah, pool Yeah, we don't want to film your dad. You'd probably get weirded out. I know, you could probably film him. All right, next time I'm going to whip the phone out. I'm going to ask him to dock. <laughs> oh, dock my cock. Next question is, he actually, as I was walking in, he's like, they're not going to pick on me, are they? <laughs> I was like, no, they're not going to pick on you. Calm down. Oh, really? Yeah, you guys are bullies. Yeah, next question. You never pick on your dad. <laughs> You pick on everyone. You guys are the biggest bullies I've ever met. You used to be the nicest friends. Now you just bully. Now we just dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe if you dock with us. Okay. Uh, next question is from Mr. B77.6 to Michael. How do you keep your temper under control when Brown pulls out his shit stickers? He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, I, I guess I have lost it. Oh, look, I'm better with it now. You just sort of realize that's the, it's his thing. So the stickers, and I don't mind the last sticker. That was pretty good. See, it does. And it it did does lead, bring you happiness sometimes. It did lead to that funny moment when you thought that sticker was on your computer and then you had to see it. Yeah, that was fucking gold that was content. Amazing. Just like the ends. So yeah, uh, it's focused on Right? Are we still going? Um, um, next next question, question is from Matthew Knowles. Um, would you guys ever do which sports ball hurts the most while high or extremely drunk? You guys have done that, haven't you? Being drunk would be make it a lot easier. Being high would probably make it harder. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, look. High enhances so. pain. Drunkness, you Numbs lose it. pain. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, eventually when if like we get to that point where we have to do it, but I'd probably... I reckon it'd be funnier if we were high because I would. It'd be much more extreme emotion. I feel like every time we do a high video, it's it's always it doesn't quite turn out as funny as we think it will. Because we're too, too quiet and we're too like too, high. too reserved. Yeah. But yeah, look, it's like when you're on cat, you got to think it's the best time ever, but it's fucking boring. I'm still pitching. <laughs> Brown hates us on cat. I just sit there for like five <laughs> hours, and the whole room was on cat. Fuck you guys. You should try and like, dock us. Yeah, yeah, dock us when we're on Ket. You'd Look, probably let me. I reckon you'd be open to it on Ket. Would you come and you could yeah, be the, come. You could be the captain, right? It's called Ket Hiking. 
kiking. So we do cat, but you don't, and you lead us in the bush. Fucking hell. No, that sounds like the worst day ever. I would Me fucking... trying to motivate you to walk through the bush. Oh, dude, that is a great... He wouldn't do it. Even to go down a, like a well, easy to follow track would be hard with you guys and Kat. I know. I, well, okay, that's oh, you know what you went. Oh, this you know... is going to happen. We're going to get Matt Brown to lead us through the bush on Kat. That's going to be a vlog. Oh, my God. You know when you went to that waterfall with Amber on your time off? Mm. <laughs> like that is an easy to follow track down to the waterfall. Matt, I want just doing, straight bush. Yeah, no, but doing that would be so difficult. Straight bush would be even harder. I know, but I think it has to. I'd happen. probably leave yours. No, yeah. Look, we'll we'll make sure that we'll give you some money to do it. No, you don't want to fucking go. Okay, I don't want to see my friends in that state. Oh man, so we really okay, okay. Well, then I guess they're not. It's just going to be us guys. Okay. Comment below if Maybe you want Brown to guide us. Uh, All right. Last, last question, question is from, from Jacob, Jacob zero, zero B one. Depending where he's from, um, you guys should do. Does urine make the pain go away? Experiment for the website. You know when um, you get bitten by like a like a blue bottle and you piss on it to make it feel better. I think if we've done that before, somehow it comes to my mind. I don't think so. I feel like I would remember that. Maybe I just tramped that one. I reckon like. Yeah. So I think there's a few creatures out there that if they bite you, you can piss on it and it'll uh, take the pain away. So does pissing on it make it better? Apparently. That's right. There was a time where you peed on me waterboarding and I ended up drinking it through the, the towel. Uh, towel. It was so... That's the most sour piss I've ever tasted. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, I guess... That was good, wasn't it? Michael, I was blindfolded and had a towel on his face and I weed on it from behind him and the wee went through the towel into his mouth. Yeah. Well, yeah, I did think it was going to be water, which is what it was meant to that be. That was early days website back when like, man. Connor, you were filming that. Yeah, we we'll, are we'll filming a website vids on phones and like, remember yeah. we, they'd take like half an hour to film. But I'd be down to do a, if something stings you or happens, just piss make it better. But you'd have to just need to piss each time. Well, we just piss beforehand and get like a few liters of it. I've just discovered something. That's actually happening. That's a great video. I've just discovered something. It goes, despite what you may have heard, it's a myth that peeing on a jellyfish sting does anything to ease the pain. Not only are there stinging nose- nettle. Yeah, well, we got to test this shit. Be interesting with stinging nettle. Yeah, the people for years they used to say it helps. So you may should put. We got to remember test. this idea. Does pissing on it really fix it? This is interesting. Not only are there no studies to support this idea, but urine may actually worsen the sting. All right, well, we're going to test that, guys. Man, not just jellyfish. Stinging nettles. Like, I guess, blunt force trauma. Does piss. Numb pain. Mm. Belt whips. Oh, man. Piss. Belt whips suck. All right, let's fucking get it done. I got to shit so bad. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha. It's prank call time. Fuck bullshit. Hey, yeah, hey, guys. Um, my name's Darren. Um, I called you last week. Um, cause lock. Um, you had the wrong signs up, lock. My car takes diesel rot and um, I come to your survey and um, I've put um, what I thought was diesel in me in me truck rot um, but turns out it was unleaded and look I, I drive down the road a bit further and <laughs> engine start making all these funny sounds and that so I pull over look I'll get um, RACQ there and look they soften some of the um, fuel out of it and they tell me that's unleaded so I was like, I called you last week, right? And the the follower I spoke to sort of get, was giving me lip and that was sort of telling mm-hmm. was sort of telling me, no, 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 it's your fault, it's your fault. So I was just calling back, um, if I could maybe speak to like a manager or something, because I've got like a massive bill now for me truck. That's because you had the signs around the wrong way. Um, it said unleaded when it was diesel, and the diesel one said um, unleaded. They can't be around the wrong way because they're fixed onto the pumps themselves. Yeah, well, I don't know what you want me to tell you, Lock. They was, it was wrong, Lock. I filled it, Lock, with, um, it said diesel, right? And then I'll drive down the road, and sure enough, RACK rocked up, right? And they tell me it's unleaded. 
So, like, you, you tell me, look, you can check footage and that, because, like, I, I done the right thing, like, thinking, oh, yeah, nah, nah, that's Diesel. And then I'll fucking find out, like, five minutes later, she's bloody got filled with bloody unleaded, mate. Okay, well, you'll have to um, come back as of probably, or ring back around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right, right. That's a bit early. What about, like, maybe 11 or something? Oh, uh, she possibly will still be here at 11. Is that the manager and that? Because, like, I need to talk something yeah. high up because, like, yeah, I can't, be, I can't be eating this cost. Like, I'm working every day, like, busting my ass for my kids and that. And, like, I can't have, like, surveys putting the signs around the wrong way and sort of fuck me up a bit now. And, like, I've got, like, three grand bill I've got to pay now. And, like, you's got to, you's got to fix that up. You've got to fix that up. And the guy I spoke to, I kind of demand that he's, like, maybe suspended or something because, like, that's not, that's not right what happened. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I, I will leave a message that you have rang. Yeah, rung. leave a message. Say Darren's rung, right? And he's coming. Yep. He's coming for what he's 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 owed. Darren's coming for what he's owed, and you tell the manager that I don't stand for signs around the wrong way. Cause like you are ripping off hard working Aussies and that, and that ain't right. Write that down. That it ain't right. Darren, you oh. bitch. <laughs> Oh. oh shit Oh look it ain't right You fucking it, it, Look sometimes it doesn't go to according Sometimes to it pays to uh, To pay your bills man Oh man that was still <sighs> So the potential We could potentially call the yoga place on Saturday For the live show Yeah I wonder though If, if they'll be closed and they will Yeah they will be at that time And it could be Funny. That one could be rough live. What if she's just the sweetest lady? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Margaret that will not care about that. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Um, that po- uh, that prank call was brought to you by mother, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Chuck no, those fucking it? cans about. Yeah, oh. it was. It was everyone. <laughs> Look at this. Dr- mother. Look, look, mother. They got all new flavors and shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. Look, sorry. Not every prank call is going to be a banger, but that's how it's real and raw. And and this Saturday's live show will hopefully be very... <sighs> we're going to finish the year with a bang. All right? It's going to be some wild shit happening. Matt's going to be gluing all the hair to his head. And um, the winner of Matt vs. Michael, it will be announced. This prank call. Willem's going to be there. And then we're going out to party. After it's going to be hectic as shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're... But- so the, we're, we're the, we're, don't no, forget to like, comment, subscribe, we're, and give us a five star review on Spotify, please, 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 please. Anyway, we're the best. 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 We're